Hey, Retcon Raider here, and welcome back to Phantom Doctrine. It's been a while, but I thought it was finally time to get back to our investigation. Of course, I should warn you, I'm a little rusty and I am working with a new mouse here, so it might get a little bumpy. Oh, and uh, before we get started, I'd also like to say that today's video is dedicated to Drakith and Tecumseh. Thanks for your support, guys, and uh, for your patience. That said, let's get started. Okay, so if I recall correctly, we just recovered evidence from the corpse of our former handler, Leslie, and we killed a corrupt DEA agent in the process. Now we need new equipment to uh, help clear our names, but we don't have enough money for it. Which is why we're trying to establish a better cash flow. Alright, let's see how much that's going to cost us. There it is. 1600 that's not bad. That'll also unlock a second disguise slot, so it's a good upgrade to have anyway. Okay, let's get ourselves resituated here. Looks like we've got an agent in Karachi. Agent Random, come on back. I also can't help but notice that we don't have anyone stationed out in the States. Let's send a team out there, just in case. There's our better cash flow. Not quite what we need just yet, though. Oh, looks like we got some new intel from AAA. Let's take a look at that. That'll give me a chance to uh, refresh my memory on the whole intel metagame. Alright, first things first. Let's get these documents organized. We're trying to find out who Calamari is, and uh, so far our only suspect is the RAF. That's, uh, British Air Force, I think? Okay, let's see here. Televangelist. Aruba Bay. Hmm. Nothing linking to Calamari just yet. Oh, uh, Boxer Rebellion. Okay, let's take a closer look at those documents. Boathouse. Ah, Calamari. And Index Strata. Okay, that gives us something to work with. Yeah, there we go. Still not quite enough, though, so let's take a look at that other document. Engineer Club, Man and Sophia, and Dr. Robert. Okay, let's see if that gives us what we need. Nope, nothing else we can do here, so we'll have to come back to it later. nothing to do now but uh, pass some time while we build up cash. We could actually afford that equipment now, but that wouldn't leave us with much money in case of an emergency. It's better to wait. We've got something going on in Muscat. Aquino 7 Paladin can check that out. Oh, uh, looks like Knight's training is complete. That gets her a somewhat useful skill, but... Uh, more importantly, it gets her training with a couple of low-tier pistols. Those are pretty vital in infiltration missions. I'll have to refamiliarize myself with our agents, but uh, I do remember Knight being an infiltration specialist. Looks like we've got an informant in Muscat. Come on back. He 
and it looks like we just learned Agent Random's shock tax talent. That basically means he can take the uh, shock tactics training a little easier, but we don't actually have access to that just yet. We'll ignore it for now. Something's going on in Aleppo. We'll send out Random at night. Another informant. Come on back. Okay, I think we've got enough of a cushion now. Let's get started on that research. Hmm. We'll want to pick up hideout concealment soon, too. Alright, now we just pass time until our research is complete. There we go. Thanks to our upgraded microfilm equipment, we were able to clean up the film recovered from Leslie's tooth. We should now analyze it as soon as possible and deliver to Fender before he is forced to arrest us. <laughs> well, that certainly sounds like a plan. And there's our second disguise slot. Oh, I uh, guess we have to manually analyze the evidence. Makes sense. Ah, right. I actually forgot we raided that enemy cell in Kabul. That actually gives us 10 pieces of intel immediately, so that might be enough to do what we need to do. Let's uh, jump over to the intel boards. Yeah, that's everything we need. Minutes from a meeting. HK Source Intercept. Please note, the facts surrounding Pakistan nuclear armament must not come to light. Not even the US intelligence community. At least until Olympians finish their campaign. So far, the right-wing senators have been more inclined to work with us on promoting Pakistan as an ally. But we're working up a trend with the liberals as well. For your information, Project Iceberg is now main activity. Our fearless complex associates can blow themselves to kingdom come later. You know full well that he's coordinating transport channels in the Middle East. That's the best job you could find him? Would you kindly use the proper code name? Oh, excuse me. I meant mainsail, of course. One could think fancy code names are all you care about these days. These code names have been created for a reason. Unless you. Ah! I'm sorry, can you keep it down, please? My hand! Yes, you have a pen in it. It will come in handy when you sign that transfer order. Sign it. Valhalla has a point. Do what he says, and stop whimpering. It's pathetic. Well, that's, uh, quite the hostile work environment. Of course... Considering that Valhalla and his associate there are probably the same agents we saw murdering their boss during the opening, uh, I guess it makes sense. Okay, so this time we need to find out who the Olympians are and uh, who Mainsail is in particular. Let's get these documents laid out. Gaia. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a real company. Randall Peterson. Doesn't really look like a secret agent, but I guess that's the point. Hmm. Okay, we've got a few connections here. Crusoe. And Olympians. And there's Mainsail. That's a pretty good start. Alright, let's start analyzing documents. Beholder. Cornerstone, we need that one. Six gun and plague doctors. And I'm missing one here. Hmm. 
Hmm. What am I overlooking here? Oh, celluloid. I thought that was a material. Okay, that gives us a few more connections. All right, next document. Six gun. Eus genera. One more. Design Bureau. That gives us another match with Six Gun. Next document. Escape Artists. And Albion Fields. There we go. Big Orchestra, Celluloid, and Infinity. Well, they're all clustered together this time. Ah, looks like the Olympians are actually the mysterious Beholder Initiative. Makes sense. Dean McMacken. Plague Doctors. Okay, I think that might actually give us exactly what we need. Yeah, it connects right over here. Very nice. We now have sufficient proof to show Fender that Aguirre and his interlocutor were corrupt. There is little chance that it will exonerate us from court-martial, but at least it could buy us some time to act on Leslie's intel. The mention of Beholder Initiative is troubling. An international lobby group involved in nuclear smuggling? We will need to investigate more closely. And deeper into the rabbit hole we go. Oh, looks like that revealed a conspiracy cell in Baku. It also revealed Knight's investigation talent and uh, got us four more pieces of intel. Let's take a look at that. Actually, we should be able to finish this one as well. There's Brigitte Ross. That's probably a red herring over there. It's unusual to see a cluster like that. Okay, we've got Freeloader over here. There we go. And, uh, let's take a look at those documents. Pullman, we need that. Gladio, that's European resistance. Oh, and, uh, there we go. Looks like that got us a couple of candidates and, uh, blueprints for smokescreen grenades. Interesting. We also know that Calamari is the code word for Gladio, but, uh, we're on the same side, so we don't have to worry about them. Okay, let's get back out to the world map and, uh, see what we need to do next. Ah, there we go. Deliver proof of Aguirre's treason to Fender in New York. Well, we've already got a team in New York, so uh, let's have them take care of it. We've also got this conspiracy cell in Baku. They're hurting our income and raising our danger level. That's bad news. Let's start recon on them. We're going to have to wipe them off the map. Oh, but uh, Takuma's back from his cancer operation. Welcome back, buddy. Okay, we'll have Takuma back deadpan up. Deadpan, sorry for, for doubting you. They just tried to kill me. Y you need to erase any any traces of the Beirut station. I'll meet you later at the at the backup safe house. 
Our agents delivered the materials successfully. While Fender and the team were on their way to Langley, they were almost rammed off the road by a hostile driver. Fender is now convinced we were right and decided to join us in Beirut. Well, better late than never. Welcome aboard, Fender. Okay. Oh, looks like we've uh, got something going on in Algiers. Let's send out a team to take care of that. We've also got this story mission in Beirut. Assault Beirut to erase traces of your presence there. That's going to be a pretty major mission, so uh, we'll hold off on that until we're sure everything else is clear. And uh, yet another agent candidate. Can't afford them right now. Though, uh, we do actually have enough money for another minor upgrade. Yeah, let's grab that hideout concealment. We're going to need a higher danger threshold. We'll probably go for body engineering next. Oh, now we've got something going on in Kabul. Chicago, too. Chicago's clear. Hideout concealment's done. Algiers is clear. Oh, <laughs> would you look at that? Snake is apparently particularly susceptible to uh, chemical alteration. We'll have to keep that in mind once we've got the body engineering lab up and running. Ah, uh, and we've got an enemy recon team in Kabul. Let's have uh, Paladin and Dekinosev stake them out. Nice. Recon's done on that uh, conspiracy cell in Baku, but now we've got that enemy recon team to deal with. Ah, uh, and uh, something's going on in Algiers again. All right, let's send out another team. Actually, we should probably keep Deadpan free. No, we don't have any other choice here. Okay, we've got enough money to get the gene lab up and running, so uh, let's get started on that. Not sure what upgrade we'll go for next. None of these look all that appealing. Oh, improved forging tools. That's a no-brainer. Yeah, that sounds good. Oh, geez, there's a whole ton of stuff going on. All right, more teams, more teams. Uh, and uh, another enemy recon team in Aleppo. Man, those guys are so close we can't afford to ignore them. We've got to take out these guys in Kabul, too. In fact, we're almost done with counter recon in Kabul, so uh, let's take care of those guys first, and uh, then we'll take care of the team in Aleppo. Let's just take care of some loose ends here. Baku will just have to wait. We've got too much going on right now. Oh, nice. Paladin just gained a level. Congratulations, Paladin. Let's uh, take care of that real quick. Okay. Faster movement's not bad, but uh, I think we'll go with composure. Yeah, as always, action points are our greatest resource. Alright, let's mobilize an assault team. Okay, let's clear the board here and uh, pick out a team from scratch. 
Now, we've got two disguise slots to work with, so uh, that actually makes this mission pretty easy, but... Uh... Oh, wait a minute. Okay, we only have two takedown specialists, and uh, both of them are currently traveling. I think we're going to have to take a step back and wait for Takuma and Deadpan to get back to headquarters. Yeah, let's back off for a moment. Alright, timing's going to be pretty tight here. Oh, and uh, there's our gene lab. We'll worry about that a little later. Clear the board. Knight just finished her training, so uh, let's have her take point on this one. She's gonna need a B-76 handgun, though. Sorry, Chameleon. Get that kitted with a silencer. And uh, we're going to need a takedown specialist, so we'll probably have Takuma take care of that. Yeah, we'll save Deadpan for the big missions. Part of being the boss is uh, learning how to delegate. No need for any special equipment since uh, we're going in disguise, but I do wish we had a silencer for that submachine gun. Well, we'll get one eventually. Now we just need to set up our support team. We'll have Deadpan on Overwatch and... Uh, let's put Random on cleanup duty. Someone's got to handle the bodies. All right, good luck, guys. But I'm sure you'll be fine. Operation Relentless Orbit. Capture or kill. It's about as straightforward as you can get. Good luck, team. Okay, first things first, let's get a look at the map. Two stories, fairly well contained. There's our target, next to a uh, briefcase. Three possible deployment zones. Two security terminals. Let's go room to room, get a better idea of what we're dealing with here. There's a laser grid. Ground floor looks clear. There's the two uh, security terminals, one for the cameras, one for the lasers. We've also got a weapons locker, which is convenient. Hmm. Otherwise, it still looks pretty clear on the ground floor. Not a lot going on down there. Oh, there's some intel. But otherwise, this area is pretty empty, too. And of course, we've got the enemy agent and the briefcase. And one more piece of intel. I really feel like I'm overlooking something, but uh, let's just get in there and see how things shake out. Looks like we should have a clear line of sight from the east. Okay, let's do this. Eliminate or capture. Keep it quiet, if possible. Enemy soldier, two civilians inside. Ah, right next to night. And the uh, laser grid controls, too. That's convenient.
We're also right below the enemy agent, and uh, we can reach them with those stairs, but we don't want to head up there until we've shut down security. Okay, let's scout it out. Oh, one guard. Shouldn't be a problem. Hmm. Yeah, this should be fine. Okay, let's get this done. Pardon me, sir. Do you have the time? Oh, sorry. I guess you're all out of it. Alright, let's dump the body and uh, get those lasers shut down. We can probably assume he ended up in those lockers there. Lasers are down. Next, we head for the cameras. Hmm. We also need to grab this weapons case. Standing by for orders. Okay, let's have Takuma scout the room and uh, Knight will grab the weapons. Always clear. Let's check the camera room. Ah, one more guard. Looks like a grenadier. I read you. Oh, nice. Another B-76. We can definitely use that. Knight, start heading for the camera room. Let's get that door closed before we end our turn. Okay, one more body for the pile. Let's just make sure there's no one outside. Looks good. And let's get those cameras. Standing by for orders. All right, Knight. Let's bring you in and uh, hide that body in the cupboard. Now we have to be careful, though, because uh, if we take anyone else out, the enemy agent will start getting suspicious. Okay, they still don't know we're here, so uh, let's split up and uh, grab the rest of the loot before we go after the agent. We've got intel over here. And intel over here. Ah, and there's another case. Okay, the only person who can see through our disguises is the enemy agent, and uh, they don't know we're here yet. We shouldn't have any trouble here. Oh, 
Oh, uh, let's make sure no one's waiting around the corner before we grab that. Looks clear. Nice, another B-76. You know, I don't want to jinx it, but this is actually going pretty well. We can ignore that soldier. There's nothing we need over there anyway. Takuma will head for the stairs instead. Alright, so Takuma's gonna go upstairs and uh, go for that intel. I read you. And we'll bring Knight up this rooftop access. Yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, we've got visual on the enemy agent. Oof. 94 hit points. Good thing we brought Takuma. Otherwise, this guy's pretty lame. There's nothing here that's going to help him. Though I won't question the combination of masochist and heavily scarred. Mm. Okay, we're obviously going to need Takuma over there, but uh, we'll have him finish grabbing this intel first. Not quite far enough. Close, though. Well, that gives Knight time to grab the other intel. We've got another guard, too, but that shouldn't be a problem. Oh, but that civilian will be a problem. We'll worry about them in just a moment. Looks like we've got a pretty open shot at the last intel here. <laughs> Just uh, don't mind the window. Don't mind me, nothing to see here. Okay, let's head for Agent Butcher. <laughs> Takuma hates windows. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's call in our extraction. civilian will raise the alarm if she sees us take out Butcher. But if we knock her out, then Agent Butcher will become suspicious. We're gonna need some uh, careful coordination here. Yeah, we can do this. Let's get Knight into position. <sighs> mm. 
Okay, let's do it to it. Takuma will come crashing through the window, and uh, they'll both take out their targets simultaneously. Sorry, ma'am. Wrong place, wrong time. Of course. Not so sorry about this one, though. Mission target incapacitated. Copy, team. <laughs> Pistol suppressor and a sniper rifle. Don't mind if I do. All right. All we have to do now is uh, Mexico trade, and we're done. There's our ride. <sighs> Got the timing on that one pretty good. Let's have uh, Takuma scout out the street. What do you require? Looks clear, so uh, let's have Knight start heading that way. My skills are at your disposal. And we're done. Nice work, guys. Come on home. You know, all things considered, that went very well. actually got the best results possible. The only way we could have possibly done any better is if we'd gone back to knock out the rest of those guards. But you know what? I'm, uh, I'm fine with this result. There will be plenty of opportunities for more experience in the future. Okay, looks like that got us a couple of B-76 semi-automatics, a pistol suppressor, and our very first sniper rifle. We also grabbed an enemy agent, so we'll have to see what intel they give up. It also looks like a Paladin is a trained analyst, and we picked up a new secret file, the Beholder Initiative Files. That sounds pretty promising. And as the icing on the cake, Takuma gained a level. All in all, not a bad run. Guess I'm not so rusty after all. Huh, and uh, yet another agent candidate. I'll take a look at him between episodes. In fact, we've got a whole bunch of things we need to take care of, but um, we're already at the 40 minute mark, so let's hit the pause button for now and we'll pick up here next time. Don't worry, though. I'll try not to keep you waiting for a month this time. I'm actually really getting back into this, so uh, I'd like to see where we can go with it. Anyway, this is Retcon Raider, signing off. Thanks for watching. Oh, and remember, although I do love playing Phantom Doctrine, you can find out more about the game by visiting the official website, the official YouTube channel, or the official store page on Steam or GOG. As always, links are in the description.